another technology we brought down there was a robotic camera system to take images of the same area in this underwater cave. So what you're looking at there, the yellow cylinder is the brains of the robot, and the top part is a camera and light that the brains make pan around and take hundreds and hundreds of pictures. And the reason we do this is we can then stitch these together into a 360 degree image so you can look all around when you're back on the surface. And this is actually, uh, the photo being taken here is the world's largest, uh, highest resolution underwater photograph ever taken. The result of all of this photo taking is something we can show you on the iPad here. Um, we end up with, the, we stitch together that whole 360 degree environment into one big photo that you can look around. And what you're looking at here is actually the underwater cave. So as I move around, you can see the stalactites and stalagmites. This used to be a dry cave, and it was, um, so the stalactites and stalagmites formed, and now it's flooded. That white line going there with the, little, uh, with the little triangles on them, that's called cave line, and it points the direction back out of the cave should you get lost in there. If you get lost or confused in a cave, it's very dangerous because you don't have enough air to sometimes get out. So um, you can see that it's actually being lit by the sun sphere. This bright light up here is the sun sphere hanging off this cord that's lighting the whole thing. And that's why it looks kind of like daylight. You can see the shadows underneath the rocks, where if we would have used a regular light, um, you would just see as if you were looking with a flashlight. One of the uh, interesting parts here, too, is this sign here actually says, warning, do not go past this place or you may die. And you can't read it because we swam past it and are behind the sign. <laughs> my, my wife really doesn't like that joke very much at all. So uh, this is actually the uh, robotic camera system. You're looking down on it. You can't see the brains hanging down below it because it's just taking a picture of the, of the top part of it. But you can see the tripod and some of the equipment underneath it. And so using similar equipment, we've taken panos uh, all over the world, actually. Um, one of my favorites, though, is King Tut's tomb in Egypt. So we went in there with panoramic equipment and captured the entire tomb in very high resolution. So you can actually look around at all the beautifully painted walls you can see down the sarcophagus where King Tut's final resting place was here, and all the gold, gold, color, gold coatings. And um, here's the lid of the sarcophagus. You can actually see some of the hieroglyphics on it. And one of the cool things about this technology, I think, is that you can actually zoom in, and you can see the mold on the walls, and you can see all the features very closely. Like in here, for example, was uh, King Tut's treasure room where they buried all his treasures. All the gold and all the ornate things that were buried with him were uh, sealed off into this room.